What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of Doom here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony. And in the latest episode, we had some shenanigans. We had some free time. Did not realize that free time was going to be uh, uh, one time because I have a plan to grind. So because my plan is to grind, uh, we got to train with Kaido first because he's like the number one person for that. Yes. Uh, anyway, speaking of, we can... Well, basically, what I'm trying to do is I want to get some mono coins for the casino. So, we want we need to get those. Angie! Hi, girl. Huh? Shuichi, where are you going? Ah, uh, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? Oh, why would I lie to Angie's face right now? She has the power of a Tua. Oh, I was just talking to the others. Talking. Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, ah, I see. Exactly. Don't lie with the power of Atua. Atua! Atua was touched by everyone's feelings. So he said, we must all preserve the peace here. Yeah! I am so relieved. I will work on every or work everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone. I wonder what she means by that. Sayonara! Bye and our Suichi. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Angie. We'll be cordial with you because we're nice. I have a bad feeling about this. He becomes magic show is Angie's idea as well. Exactly. What is she planning this time? She like the indirect villain. I feel like that could be the case. Um, just mm. indirectness. Looks like Kaido isn't here yet. Then suddenly, of course our boy's gonna appear. Yeah. Sorry I was late. Had a bit of trouble bringing her. Huh? Her. Maki! Yes! Maki! I have somebody who wants to know you more. Huh? Maki? Wh why is Maki here? Why guide me? That's what I would like to know. Somebody kept buzzing my intercom and got I got fed up and I finally opened the door. Yeah. Okay, Maki. Then a guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry. Don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? The three of us? Is this really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. Ha! Huh. Huh. You call him this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, the train train that or they train, train, and then train some more. That is why this training is the important for a hero like me. So you guys can be a super dog, cat, or horse be my, by my side to help me be the hero. Uh, um, of all examples you could have picked, I'm right already. do you really think that a crazy explanation would have convinced me to stay? This is stupid. I'm still going back. Hold, Hold on a second. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, Even super pets think of themselves as heroes. The same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it, damn it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So why are you being so difficult? Hey, so How are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaido brought his face close to Maki's. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I can tell just by looking at you today. So. You guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend that I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person that others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy. Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Run away. Seriously? Yeah, you've been running away, and it's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it, even just a little, huh. I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? <laughs> Maki's getting angry. Kaido is just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So, what are you going to do? Kaido. Kaido. It's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine. I'll do it. Huh? You'll do it. Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Ha! Huh. Huh. So you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with the idiots like him is just to give up and just keep nodding. What? Huh. You don't get it at all. Huh. 
Whatever. You just get better. You better get ready, because I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Well, what are we doing first? All right. First, 100 push-ups. You didn't do 50 last time. So, why are you expecting us to do 100, buddy? Somehow, Maki ended up joining us, and the three of us trained together. Back to our Shuichi and Kaido regularly scheduled program. <laughs> Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. Hey, Kaido. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. You said we're supposed to do 100, buddy. I thought we were doing 100. <laughs> exactly. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... You say you're not slacking off on her just because she's a girl. 91, 92, 93, 94. What? That fast? Yo. Satisfied? 100. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. You're, you're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we've really pushed ourselves yet. Well, that's... Before coming here, I did a warm-up already, so I did 500 push-ups. Yeah, you totally did that, Kaido. Totally. I'm sensing a little bit of an inferiority complex, if I don't say so myself. Kaido, that was the ex <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the best lie you could come up with. Anyway, I'm done, and you can't say I didn't train with you. Going back to my room now. Okay, we're gonna do training tomorrow too, so you better be there. <laughs> Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. Jeez, Jeez why is she gotta be so difficult? Why do you have to lie? That's a, I'm, I'm, the question with a question. I get that she's being difficult with you, but my dude, you don't need to prove yourself to Maki, okay? Like, you don't need to do that. We love Maki. We stand Maki. We're here for Maki. You don't need to prove yourself to her. You're fine, bud. Um, um, Kaido, why did you do all this to help her? Hmm? If someone's weak, you have to help them up. Teamwork is the most important thing for astronauts. Huh. If someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, um, weak and suffering. Maki? That's right. Well, in a sense, you're... Nah. No, your case is a little different. Huh? What, what do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. Anyway, let's keep on going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No, you didn't. Do your push-ups with me, okay? Or we do push-ups in a uh, different form, which I'll go for too. But I don't know about Shuichi. No. Nice try, Kaido. Kaido ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. Yeah, Kaido. He didn't remember. Oh no, the most convenient lie ever. We agreed just to start over and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. <laughs> Thank you, Shuichi. We love you. We stand you. Literally, you put his, you put that man in his place. You're like, if you don't remember, we're starting over and we're doing it again. We are starting over and I'll join you. Good freaking shit, Shuichi. Good shit. Ah, oh, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Hmm. Kaido bringing Maki. He really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki was able to come in the first place. Kaido, you are something else. My eyelids close as I continue talking myself, and eventually I drifted to sleep. What Monica with Oh! Monodom Theater! Oh! What? Dot dot dot. Curious. Curious what we mono cubs do when you are not around. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in the air conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See, we're all such good friends. 
we're always together. Except when they run away and I get caught stealing. Oh no. Don't get caught, Monodom. Why are you stealing, but grew do? <laughs> Monodom! The Monodom announcements. I know you were just caught stealing, but whatever. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Let's get along. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> Oh, Monodom, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. Right. Friends, this is the only show. Oh, Friends is the only show he watches now. Oh, are we going to binge watch Friends? I haven't watched it. It's one of the shows that I need to watch. We can binge watch it together. It's fine, Monodom. I will not forgive if that. you don't get along, I won't forgive you. I will use the Exosols to peer your face off like Mandarin Orges. So sorry. Ugh. That's so gory! Please get along, everyone! Aww. Ah, she peered again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say when a monophane's blue puke will... Or, say anyone who sees monophane's blue pill... Bi blue puke will have good luck. Yeah, we definitely need to see a blue pill. That's definitely what we need to see. Jesus. Totally what we need to see. Assemble the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Don't worry, Shuichi. I don't have a good feeling about this either. No, we're not leaving. Excuse me. We gotta get the mono coins. No! Wrong buttons. I'm hitting buttons. Wrong buttons galore here. Hold on. Let me fix that mono coin. Another mono coin. Look at us go. We got two mono coins from that. I think that's the only things we can hit, though. Yeah, it is. Would you like to leave? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I want my mono coins. It's not gonna let me see how much. Oh, kill and Kaido! Oh my god, we have BF and best. Well, double BF because boyfriend, best friend, I guess. But uh, first, we're gonna talk to boyfriend first, I think. Yeah, boyfriend's first. We get to talk to both of them. I have a bad feeling this. I need to go to the door. Excuse me, you're not. You're de you're denying my opportunity to talk to boyfriend. There, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say if dang it, Ropa. If you were gonna freaking deny me of talking to best friend and boyfriend, we were about to have problems. Oh, hey, bro. Okay. Good morning. Did you hear that announcement? Ah. Yeah, we gotta meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? Well, guess we have no choice but to go. Go on ahead, bro. Huh? What? You're not going? So... Nah, I'm going. I just gotta take care of something first. Then I'll meet you there. You're gonna drag Maki, aren't you? Kind of pointed to the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's gonna take her. Yep. Yep. So... They said everybody's gotta be there, right? Who knows what'll happen if you don't show up? Okay. All right. If someone, if some one of or if one of us doesn't show up, yeah, you're right. Last night's training session, and now this. Kaido's really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everybody. Right? Hi, Kyo. Hmm. <sighs> Good morning, Kyo. Are you going to the gym? Yes. Ah, uh, yes. I uh, was about to head out over there, but I overslept a bit today. You see. <laughs> of course. The one time I do that, we're all summoned, so I panicked a bit. I'm normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. Uh, um, that early? I usually wake up at the Mono Cup's announcement. I, I usually wake up at 6 a.m., since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. Why does it take you so long? Is it that even longer than what a girl takes? Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform, so I perhaps perhaps that's why? So then... In any event, we have no time for idle chit-chat. I shall go ahead to go to the gym. Okay, Kyo. Bye. We get to go to the gym with Kyo. I don't, we're going to see like a whole bunch of people because I'm running over here. He, uh, Samugi, I would talk to you, but we're, we got to go to the gym. The gym is the most important. I got to talk to my two people. I'm happy. We got... Oh, well, actually, no. I'll talk. I'll spend time with Kibo. I got to talk to Kibo, too. Hold on. Shuichi. Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Kiba. Shuichi, doesn't this summons uh, give you an, an, easy, yeah. an easy feeling? Well, I suppose it does. I Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. The timing is similar to when the Mono Cups pads okay. are similar to when the Mono Cups with the Mono Cups pads. Yeah, I think that might be the case. Indeed. But all right, no matter what kind of motive it is prepared for us, we have a po we have can oppose it together. Mm -hmm. Huh? I have decided. Don't worry. We will not allow the killing game to continue. 
We will not. I'm tr My thing with Kibo is I want to like uh, talk really fast. That's like that's my thing with Kibo is like talking fast. And sometimes I just stumble so hard. That was strange. Kibo was uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically optimistic. What did he mean by won't allow it to continue? What did he mean by that chat? That that I caught that too. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. What are we talking about, Kibo? Everybody's going to be already at the gym. Or a lot of people are going to be already at the gym. Level up! Yeah! Again, I'm so happy we don't have a pet to worry about. It makes things so much better. I love the no pet thing. It was a cool one-off mechanic, but we don't need it anymore. That's a duck. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rantaro's class trial. All clean. Like... Nothing ever happened. Oh, oh man! I'm tired as fuck! Uh, I was up all night fixing that computer. Oh. Oh. You took a look at the computer on the fourth floor? What do you think? Of course she did! Shuichi, do you not remember the fact that we literally went to go see her, and then we talked about the horny stick, and we talked about her, like, a whole bunch of stuff about Maki last night. Do you, do you not? I don't think you remember any of that, bud. Okay. Ah! Oh. Uh, Oh, they just started working on it because so I don't know the full specs, but that thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense that I won't let me sleep. <laughs> are, you are you jealous? Please stop. Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. A robot? Jealous of a computer? That seems plain possible. Just plain possible. Oh, hey guys. I was sleepwalking or something. What is she doing here? Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating. After what Maki said before, there's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. Uh, maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would just prefer that than this dangerous killer stays far, far away from us. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't prefer it at all. You better cut that out! No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in this peaceful academy yeah. life. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Yeah, yeah it's just like Angie said. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no! You can. Angie! You can convert Himiko because I don't give a flying fuck about Himiko. Samugi, though? If you start converting her, we're gonna have major problems. We're gonna have major problems, Angie. Huh? No, 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 Angie. Everyone. It's serious. No. Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No, no not that. Gato went to courtyard before coming here and... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on! What is it? Why'd you call us all of a sudden? We're the ones who called them out! Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about the Montaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is the motive after all. <laughs> ha! It doesn't matter what motive it is. We will not do the killing game anymore. That's right. That's right. We aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because we have a Tua. What? Actually. It is no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Fear like never before, huh? If you face a fear like never before, you will have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll present it together. Oh no. This time, the motive is a transfer student. What? What? Yep, a new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. Is it? Is Junko back? You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. What? 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 And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. What? Well... No. What? 
a transfer student. Serious? We can resurrect someone? Uh, the instructions for the resurrection ritual are written on the Necomoticon. The ne whoa, 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 Hold the phone. Where did you go get Ashley J. Williams Necromonicon? Um, uh, 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 Monotaro? By performing the ritual as written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically, you can kill them again as soon as they're resurrected. That's true. You know, if you wanted to use it like that, the motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, so sorry only happens in such. Monodum! Let's forgive Montaro, Monotaro for giving us what friends do, you know? Monofane, you're nice. But there is no more friendship than being... Or no more... is, or There's more to friendship than being nice. Friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That is why I will have to punish you, Monotaro. What? Me? Please, no. Not Monofane. I'm always mocking her, but she's not looking... When she's not looking, I want to. I don't want to be punished by her. Do it. Fine, I'll do it. What? So long. Farewell. What? We're all completely dumbfounded. I feel like this academy has prepared me for the absurd situations, but what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. To transfer student, resurrecting the dead. Don't, screw don't say such stupid things. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. It just can't happen. Sheesh, who the fuck would believe such a load of unscientific bullshit? Listen. Disbelief is due to the lack of scientific merit. It is simply the hubris of scientific society. The ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. See, they are similar, yes, but acting and sending the dead to the next world is sort of a ritual. Although rumors and legends of rituals twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. So? Uh, since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you already believe all of that stuff, huh, Keo? <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What do you understand? Without doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. Oh, so you believe in souls, but you don't believe the souls can be re resurrected? Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there is no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if the idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reason a girl should believe it either. Huh, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking! Ah, oh, but too bad! No one's interested in your bullshit cult! No. No, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! <laughs> Can I say it? Yay! Uh, Okay, I'm gonna say it, because that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Yeah, her Atua bullshit is fucking pissing me off. It's fine. Wait a minute. Wait a solid smacking minute. I just realized they put them in intentionally. Angie is taking control of Tenko and Kibo. Game, you better fucking not. Uh, um. So you believe you you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh... Um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because you know. How the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up. So clean. It's like they were never dead 
a, bod a dead body to begin with, so maybe the truth is... they were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead? No. No, that's not possible. We've inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, but... Uh, but... But it might have been a very accurate imitation. No. An imitation. Monokuma and the Exiles are the evidence of the ridiculous scientific advancements, so it is possible to create an extremely convincing imitation. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I am staring to plainly, or starting to plainly agree. I am always supported, Angie, and yeah, you're gonna pay for it, Himiko. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Right. What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own eyes. Degenerate male. Don't raise your voice at Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to, or you don't want them alive, Shuichi. You don't want the dead to be alive. That's true. I, I but... do. I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that... What? No, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them writ wrote message in the courtyard. The message in the courtyard. Oh, boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gonta. Uh, Gonta, um... you know about the letters in the written on the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On the way here, Gonta, go see writing uh, in courtyard. And there's more writing this time. Huh? More writing. Um, Gonta has no understand the writing mean, but right. maybe, maybe it's message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, hey, we're alive. Huh? A message from everyone who died? Because no one here write it, did they? So someone must have write it, right? Are you saying that a dead person is hiding in the school wrote the message? In other words, it's a message from the dead. Uh, Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked up the Necronomicon off the floor. Angie, whatever are you planning on doing with that? Are you actually planning on to perform the motive ritual? Do you know what the motive is? No. Yes. But perhaps the motive is dangerous to it. Her, uh, that, blah, blah. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe people who have died actually are alive. And if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for a certain this time. Um, but it would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors to die. Thank you. Yeah, you're so smart for telling us, Gonta. You're the savior of those four people. Huh? huh? Angie approached Gata with her usual wide smile and... <laughs> no, Angie! <laughs> Not Gata too. You work so hard, Gata. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? Oh, no. I know this because I... Tua is always watching you. Angie, you son of a... Always watching Gonta. Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nuts. Huh? Gentle grandmother? I thought you said Atua was a handsome man! Oh. Angie is Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. Well, well, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Facts, Kokichi! Spit them facts! Keep spitting them facts! Honestly, Kokichi, spit them freaking facts! That's not even a lie, and I appreciate that. Keep on spitting facts. Oh my god. It is it is so goddamn convenient every single time. And as she scapegoats Atua, it is just a thing. And now everybody's falling for her shit because, of course, she is. Honestly, it's kind of freaking insane. Keep... I need you to freaking be, like, honestly, Kokichi, I need you to not fall for that shit. Because if you fall for that shit, it's game over. Oh. Oh, yeah. Why don't you join us, Student Council Gonta? You're right. Yeah. It'd be really reassuring if you were part of the Student Council Gonta. Hmm. Mm. You will, you will use your power for the peace of the academy. <laughs> <laughs> so much everyone needs you, Gata. See how much everyone needs you, Gata? You should definitely join. You need Gata? 
Got it. Okay, gotta join student council too. Wait. Wait, 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 before all of that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting weird? Yes. Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we are gonna eradicate the killing game. Right. Me, Kibao, Tenko, and Samugi. Yes. We have arrived at the conclusion. This is the Ultimate Academy Student Council with Angie Yonaga as our president. With Angie Yonaga as the person who's gonna brainwash us all and she's gonna become the president. She's, there's something, to, there, there's more to Angie. There's more to Angie. There's so much more to Angie, which is scary in a very big way. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Oh, God. Oh, no. Our platform is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Oh, no. Our student council promises a killing game free ultimate academy. Oh, one of those five are gone. One of those five are so gone. One of those five are so gone, and Angie's going to get away with it. Because Angie's not gonna con Angie's gonna convince somebody else to do it. One of those five are gone. One of those five are absolutely gonna be gone. Oh frick! And what sucks, right? Is Gonza is now added to the mix. So one of those six are definitely gone. And I like three of them a lot. Angie's not gone, so we yeah. What, so we exclude exclude Angie because that no way Angie's dying. Oh, frick. Okay. Student council and Angie th is the president? Yes. Yes, there can be a harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Hmm. No, shut up. Hi. What? Yuff, yuff. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decisions done is making is done by a Tua. Yeah, it's done by a Tua. Done by a Tua. Everything I do is done by a Tua. Jesus freaking Christ, Angie. I get so pissed with Angie. It is unbelievable the riled anger I have with this character. And it is like beyond Kukazuichi. It is beyond. It might even be beyond Hero at this point. And that is saying so much. That is saying so much. If her, my hatred for Angie. Like Angie's a great character, don't get me wrong. She's like as far as like character game in the game goes. If she can rile me up this much. But jeez, oh Louisa. But since Angie can speak with the Tua, she's the only one worthy of being the student council leader. That's right. Me, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to follow Angie too. <laughs> yeah! Thanks everyone, Atua is so happy too. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. They've been totally brainwashed. Dude, Kokichi, you're moving up the ladder, buckaroo! You're moving up the gamer ladder! I'm just saying, you're actually on point. Keep spitting facts, I need you. Angie has spread her influence before we've even realized. However, but it makes so much sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. The fear of death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from the desires to escape that. I see. Oh, so she's using this situation to take over the school and make us dependent on a Tua? Please, wait. Using is a rude way to describe it. It's the truth, Kibo. Deal with it. The president wants peace for the school. We can all agree with her noble wisdom. Right. Yeah. Gotta not let anyone talk bad about the student council. Why, you? you literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But, uh, but I'm not surprised. Tenko decided to join the student council. Huh? Huh? Well, why? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Mm. Who, who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua was. So? That's right. That's right. Now what we're talking about again? What were we talking about again? Yeah, oh, yeah. the resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait. No, it's not. It is literally not, Angie. Atua can... Uh, 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 Atua can make this decision to fucking do some crazy ass shit, Angie. Mm. That's a relief. If it's it, Atua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Yeah, yeah no way Atua could do wrong. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Atua is always right. Wait a minute. Are you guys serious? The resurrection, the resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. Yeah. yeah, it'll be 
fine as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I highly doubt they listen to anything we have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you could help at least help Kaido to Kaido. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. Oh, do not take my boyfriend, Angie. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left at it and went our separate ways. Angie, this episode has been me getting mad at Angie the entire time. Is it free time now? Probably. They'll probably be like, we still have time. Let's do free time. Transfer students, reviving the dead, Atua, the student council. So many heavy conversations this morning. No. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There's something that I have to do. I have to find something. Free time! Well, perfect. So, in the next episode of Dang It Up of V3 Killing Harmony, Angie is controlling the entire situation, which is a big problem, and we need to freaking stop her somehow. Um, even if that means her death. It won't happen, but, like, I'm calling for it right now. I am campaigning for it. I didn't, I campaigned kind of for Hero, but not as, not as bad as I'm about to campaign for Angie. She needs to go. She's literally going to control everything, get everything in her clutches, and then blame Atua and scapegoat it. It's not even going to be her fault because it's going to be goddamn Atua's. Anyway, I love you guys so very much. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry that I'm getting so pissed at Angie, but it's deserved. Love you all. And catch you in the next one.